Hello everyone, today we're fixing an HP laptop. The customer said um, he kind of tried to change the keyboard and then all of a sudden the laptop doesn't turn on anymore. So I've connected a charger and I can see the charge light is on but then there is no indication over here. The laptop doesn't turn on. I, I press the power button, it doesn't respond. So let's fix this together. It's HP EliteBook 745 G5. So I bring in this. Uh, I think I have a few other screws over here that I have to release. So the bottom cover is taken off. Let's take some few readings to know what we are missing on the motherboard. So I'll start by checking the main power rail. This is the first current sense resistor. It looks like we're good. So this is this will be the main power rail. That's good because I mean we are having the power lady so i check the five volts and we are damn shorted on the five volt line there's a the 5v rail this is the 3v rail this would be the pch this is the cpu coins this is the extra cpu for more stack scan or let's say hyper thread virtualization or something like this and this is for the RAM so you have low resistance yes so this is for the RAM so since we are having a short on the 5v rail let's get to it let me prepare my thermal camera and then let's switch over to the microscope view So this is a part that's this chip after this chip is process everything the outputs this is what goes to the rest of the motherboard so i'm going to isolate this part to reveal which parts of the motherboard that we are having a short circuit so i'll add so i'll add some low melt solder wire this is bad switch over to another iron with more heat transfer come with my soldering wick then i'll wick this thing off just to be sure the part is flat so then i'll just clean this place so i'll clean this part and then proceed to take the reading do you have a short here yes we still have a short here meaning this chip is bad and hot over the other side of the motherboard yes we're good so we're having a short we're having a shot from this side do you get it so it could be this chip is bad one of these capacitors is also bad do you get it so Let's bring in our thermal camera. So with our thermal camera, and our voltage is set to about one volt. Let me switch over to the overhead camera. So here, it's drawing nothing. How about here? We are drawing about one amp, and as you can see. We have this is heating up. So let me just switch over to the microscope view and then I'm going to still you see you're drawing about one arms and 
you can see this is bad this is taking all of the currents this is taking all of the currents this is taking all of the currents yeah So I'll take off the round. I'll take off the round and then I'll take off the customer's drive. And add some flask. Okay. We're bringing this. to clean the pod stick one more reading so this is the black probe to the ground and this is the red probe so let's check again and our shot is gone, right? So we can now have to look for a donor, but to replace this chip. Uh, this knife for him. What is he called to? It's like four and we're just equal to five D. couldn't replace with the same part number but I was able to replace with something closer and this should work fine now that our shattered IC has been replaced let's see if this will fix us uh, damn we're getting there can you see This is a happy customer. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video and I hope you learned something. And I'll see you in my next video.